Hey guys, it's Janice. And Shruthi. And as requested a lot, um, we're going to be doing a fall inspired look because we already did a fall look outfit <laughs> thing. It'll be over there. We'll have an annotation over here. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll be going first. Bye. Bye. Miss you. Um, from now on, if you want to know our songs that we play in the videos, it'll be in the box below in the descriptions. Turn down a little. Okay, so I wanted to clip my bangs back, push my hair away, you know, get all the make, no, no, make get all the hair away from your face. And I already have concealer and a bit of eyeliner on, so I'm just gonna set it with some powder. And um, for me, I don't really get really oily. I have most, I kind of dry skin, but I don't like shine on my face still. So I'll be matting it with powder. And this is the Dream Matte Powder. I actually really like this. Like, it's not heavy at all. And this is in Sands Medium 0-1. Make it too long like last time. Got it. Okay. And I'll rub this all over my face. And you want to get it on your neck too, just to blend it. And get it all over on the oily spots you usually get. For me, it's my nose mostly. Let's work on eyeshadow. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, well, it kind of broke the lid. But it's the... That's what it looks like. It broke. It's the Reverend Revlon Colorstay 12-Hour Eyeshadow 06 in the buff. That I gave you. That, yeah, you gave me for my birthday. And I've been using this a lot. Like, I really like this palette because it's definitely fall colors and it's definitely neutral. But I'm picking this shade right here. It's a lightest shade. I'm going to take my fingers, actually, take my middle finger, rub it, and just put it on my lid. Like that. Just put it all over my lid. And, ooh. My brushes. Okay. And then taking, I think this is an Estee Lauder brush. It's like this thin type, not too thin, but it's like a medium sized brush. And taking the brown, this brown, the darkest brown, I'm going to put this in the crease of my eye. And kind of, kind of wing it out, I guess. Because my eyeliner is kind of a cat's eye, so I kind of follow that direction. And from the end to like the middle of it, I'm going to do that on the ball of your eye, I guess, too. Just kind of deepen the crease look in a way. And for me, I just do that to perfect the wingish look. If you want to dark, darken it more, just keep adding, I guess. So into the other eye, into the crease, and kind of fall out to follow your eyeliner look. And same thing from the mid of your eye to the end, just fill it in, just deepen it. And then with this. Estee Lauder kind of fatter flat brush thing. I'm going to take the shade right here and to like blend it to avoid any harsh lines I'm just going to blend it up right here just to blend it and near my eyebrows. It's three minutes. Oh the video. Okay almost done. And this is like the eyeliner brushes that come into those gel eye studio things and Maybelline things. This is what that came with it. But I just use this, taking this shade and just do the corner of my eyes. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some blush. This is an e.l.f. blush and I think it's in, oh it's in tickled pink actually. Can't see it's really small, but it's tickled pink. And put it because my face is more of round, so I put it on like my actual apples of my cheeks. And I smile when I put it on. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like bugs. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of rise it up a little. Like, what your temple, right? What's this area right here? Cheekbone. It's no. Cheekbone. Oh, okay. Well, up here too. And then I smile and then put a little more on my apples, my cheeks. And I kind of rub it to 
avoiding harsh color on my cheeks. Kind of rub it in. And then finally, for the lips look, I use my it's a grapevine baby lips. I really like this, and we'll probably do a view on this um, a bunch of lip stuff. But it's this nice purpley color. And that's it. Now, shoot these turn. Pause it. Pause what? Hey guys, so this is my part of the fall look. And I have a mirror up here, so if I look up while I'm doing it, that's why. And then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Desert Sunrise Quad. And it's supposed to be for blue eyes. But I like to use it just for a natural eye look. And I love it for fall, because fall is like browns and total natural look. So I already have foundation on. I don't usually use concealer. I don't like it. It's too thick. But I use tinted moisturizer and then on top of that I put foundation. So that's my um, what I put as my base. And then so I'm going to take my quad over here. You can see over here. It says one, two, three, no. One, two, three, four. It just gives you the numbers and then gives you directions on the back. So I like it. Um, I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, brush, it's just a thin flat brush, that's what I like to use for my eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this color, if you don't have the exact quad, then just kind of match with the colors, it's like a creamy white, just put that all over your eyelid, lightly, you don't have to like pack it on, and then do it for both eyes. And I'm kind of going to get it with this. I'm just going to use the very top to get it on my inner core. Corners? Inner corners, yes. I don't know why I called it core, like an apple. Or your soul. Okay, and then next I'm going to mix this bronzish color with this caramely color. Because I like this color, but I like the shininess of this. So I just like mix it. And then I'm going to put it halfway on my eyelid. Do it for both eyes. And then lastly, I'm going to take this dark chocolatey color. And then do it on the very outer corner. And that, that just gives you a little more color and, like, um, make sure you blend it in really well so it doesn't stand out too much. And if you want it a little more darker, just take more. Okay, and then I'm going to fix it to make the, like, the shape I want. Okay, next, you're just going to take liquid eyeliner, or whatever eyeliner you use. Did you bring it? Um, and I use liquid eyeliner on the top only. It's the Revlon Color Stay. Oh, yeah, it's the Revlon Color Stay one. I like it. Janice is like staring at me while I do it. What else are you supposed to do? Okay, and then I'm just gonna create like the a little bit of wing. The sun is coming in, so sorry if you can't see like the color clearly. Okay, and then do it for both eyes, obviously. So, and then at the bottom, I already have my Revlon Color Stay Stick Eyeliner because I don't use liquid on the bottom, obviously. Um, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> it burns. And then for blush, I'm just going to take my Kabuki brush. And then, ooh, I can't open it. And then my Elizabeth Arden 
um, deluxe all over face compact. It has one bronzer and three blushes. And then you're just going to do it on the cheeks of your eyes. I do it really lightly. And then mascara I already have on, but I use the Grow Luscious by Revlon in black. And then lastly, baby lips in cherry red. Cherry red. I can't find the color, but cherry red. And it's supposed to be like red, but on my skin tone, it comes out a pretty pink. And so. we'll do a video about the pros and cons of this. Yeah. Okay, so that's all. So, that's my fall look. And then Janice's and look. So, and leave any comments below. And start asking our questions for our ask thing. Yeah. And give us what else videos you want. Bye, guys. Bye.